Hi everyone, my name is Rachel. Uh, I had a lot of you ask me for a tutorial on my version of the um, virus poncho. So I did do a slideshow yesterday, but I was also planning on doing a walkthrough. So here's our walkthrough today, our actual tutorial. Um, I used yesterday, or not yesterday, on my poncho, I used Red Heart Super Saver White Gray and Pigeon Variegated. Um, Today I'm using a 5.5 or size I crochet hook and the Red Heart Super Saver in Panther Pink. Um, I like using the variegated yarns. I'm quirky that way. Um, so I've already chained my 70 because that's how many I chained for the uh, round when I modified the virus blanket pattern, but I changed 70, so as you can see, here's my 70. So I'm going to put this down so you guys can kind of follow along with me now. So here we are, my chain 70. I'm going to make sure my work isn't turned or twisted. Lay it out all nice. And then I'm going to bring this First, uh, first chain to my last stitch, and I'm going to slip stitch to join. So, here we are. And I go underneath both of these little um, posts. So, see, I've gone through here. I'm going to bring my yarn up and over so I can slip stitch to join. So I'm going to pull through one, pull through two, pull nice and tight, and now we have slip stitch to join. Um, these little tails, I like to bring them in as I go. So we're going to chain up three, and I'm going to show you how to kind of weave that in as we go, so to speak. So chaining up one, two, three and for the double crochet because this counts as our first double crochet so we're going to double crochet into the very next stitch here you can see very next one and I just pull the little tail and hold it along with my chain and make sure that when I wrap it gets caught in there that way I don't have to go back and weave it in so now we have three Three loops on our hook. We're gonna loop around, pull through two, loop around, and pull through two. And that's how you do a double crochet. And we're gonna do that all the way around 70 times. So here we go. And I'll keep my hands here so you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm gonna try to go slow. Okay, I've done several of these double crochets very slow for you, so you can see, but this is what our first round is going to look like. So I'm going to get going, uh, and just remember, 70, you're going to need 70 double crochets, so you're just double crocheting in each of your chain spaces. So, I will meet you back at the beginning. This first round is always my least favorite. Um, the music I have in the background, that is Pandora on the uh, Lindsay Sterling channel. I love her channel. Um, it's actually the channel that they had on when I delivered my 
on. So as you can see, that little tail is gone because it's been um, crocheted right, right into here. So. Um, so this is going to be part one. This will probably be a two or three part uh, tutorial just because I only have a 15 minute time span and we're already up to five minutes. So, yeah. Trying to go as quickly as possible. It goes much quicker after this row. It really does. Um, just making sure that you're getting in every single one of these chain stitches. Kind of, yeah. Which I guess I could have started a different way. There is a foundationless double crochet stitch. There is not foundationless, but a double crochet foundation stitch. Maybe I will do another tutorial on how to do that. Then that would have saved us like so much time. But anyway. I just want to say thank you to everyone who watched my slideshow. I know it went really, really fast. Um, I'm still learning how to be a YouTube blogger or vlogger, as they say. Um, so thank you for your patience. Thank you for your kindness. And thank you for your encouragement, all of you who had kind things to say. Um, I really appreciate it. I'm just happy that I get to, to share my addiction, as my husband calls it, with uh, others who are like-minded in their love of crochet and yarn. He absolutely hates it because um, it's all over the house. It is all over the house. It's in our spare bedroom, which is the baby's room, but he sleeps in our room still, so. <laughs> in his closet, it's, I have it all kinds of little cubby spaces for it to be hidden. And he hates it. Um, I have seen a lot of beautiful work from um, the Facebook page that I am a part of for um, ladies who like to crochet. I am a big fan of a lot of your work, all of you. Um, I see lots of gorgeous things that inspire me to make stuff. Um, so wanted you all to know that. I love all of your work and, you know, watching people learn and grow and, and fall in love with this hobby is pretty awesome too. So, um, I learned how to crochet when I was six. My grandma taught me. I don't think I actually ever finished a project until I was, because <laughs> I would start, I would start pillows and blankets and granny squares and all kinds of stuff. And I just, I don't think I ever finished a project till I was probably close to 20 years old. Um, pretty sad. But I do see a lot of kids on um, my favorite crochet Facebook page and it's amazing um, to see that generation 
wanting to learn this. I'm just seeing the pride on their faces pretty often too when they finish a project. So we're coming to the end now. And I'm actually going to go back and make sure that I have, I actually have uh, 70 spaces. So I'm going to put it down because this way I can count without, you know, double counting here. So here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and just pull through and pull nice and tight and now we have slip stitch to join so this round we're going to chain up four one two three four and we will continue on the next video